Benjamin David Simmons is a 25-year-old Australian professional basketball player who currently plays for the Philadelphia 76ers of the NBA. Before being picked first overall in the Philadelphia 76ers in 2016, Simmons spent a year at LSU. In 2018, he was voted NBA Rookie of the Year, and in each of the three seasons afterwards, he has been selected an All-Star. However, the first point guard's trade battle with his own squad is becoming harsher by the day, as Simmons claims he has a back injury and is now unable to continue playing due to a mental health difficulties resulting from the injury. It's yet another degradation of the All-Star's relationship with his team. Reports from October 22, 2021. Simmons' participation in the team's first home game of the season on Saturday is yet to be confirmed. Simmons has yet to finish a full training session with the Sixers since the end of the 2021 playoffs. Thus, it looks unlikely that he will participate in the Sixers' matchup with the Brooklyn Nets. It's unclear whether the Sixers will take any more disciplinary action as a result of the recent discovery. It comes only days after the club banned Simmons for one game and threw him out of a practice session for failing to participate in a defensive exercise. Simmons departed the team's training center in Philadelphia without completing his schedule scheduled one-on-one training session with assistant coach Sam Cassell. According to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, the report goes into great detail after reporting back discomfort. Simmons was briefly treated by team medical personnel before the scheduled workout. Simmons allegedly departed the facility without setting foot on the court despite being approved by the medical personnel to partake in the training session. According to the Philadelphia Voice, Simmons had never been treated for a back condition and had never notified the team that he had one. Simmons isn't ready to play, according to The Athletic, and will miss an undetermined number of games this season. The problem has escalated, with a report claiming that Simmons' mental health is the reason he isn't fit to play for the squad. According to Howard Eskin, a local Philadelphia sports radio host, the team does not believe Simmons. According to the article, the team is livid that Simmons is using mental illness as an excuse. He was also seen practicing with his phone in his pocket and refusing to join in a team huddle during a training session this week that was open to media cameras. He was viciously criticized in the Sixers' season opener on Thursday, but based on the most recent explanation the Melbourne product has just put out, things are only going to get worse before they get better. According to a story released on Wednesday, Simmons and the organization are at odds, with Simmons apparently ignoring stadium workers and off-court staffers. When the 76ers beat the Pelicans 117, to 97 to start the season, Simmons didn't appear to be missed. Simmons' relationship with the 76ers has reached a breaking point, and Pelicans fans were only too glad to let the rest of the world know. Throughout the game, they yelled, where's Ben Simmons? When Joel Embiid walked to the free throw line, New Orleans supporters switched it up and chanted, we want Simmons, mocking his historically low free throw conversion record. Since formally demanding a trade in August, Simmons has been attempting to force one through for months. The team has been unable to get an appealing offer from competing teams and will not release him until a suitable offer is made. The cat and mouse game is far from done. Reports from 26th of October 2021. The Philadelphia 76ers are no longer fining Ben Simmons for missing workouts and early season games, according to reports. Since missing the team's training camp and preseason games, the Australian is said to have paid more than $2 million in fines. Embiid has changed his stance and urged the team's supporters to continue to support Simmons because he's still our brother, ahead of the team's first home game of the NBA season last week. The organization has taken Simmons' mental health declaration in good faith, according to senior writer Ramona Shelburne of ESPN. The team, on the other hand, appears to be torn about Simmons' absence, with reports last week stating the team is filthy. Simmons has cited mental health as a reason for sitting out this season. Daryl Morey, the chief of basketball operations for the Philadelphia Philadelphia 76ers has refused to sell Simmons and indicated last week that if a good trade offer is not made, the standoff might endure for four more years. Simmons' deal has four years and about $200 million left on it. Maury has already stated publicly that the organization will only consider trade proposals of a like-for-like player, meaning an all-star, and that he will not blink first. Maury has also made several outlandish trade proposals in recent months. The Portland Trailblazers 
Brothers have long been connected to a Simmons deal, but the likes of Damian Lillard may be too much of a stretch. The Sixers also wanted CJ McCollum, but they requested three first-round selections and three pick swaps in exchange, which Portland refused. Maury allegedly demanded James Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins, and number 7 and 14 overall choices, and two future first-round picks in exchange for Simmons, but the Golden State Warriors rejected trading for him. Charles Barkley, a two-time NBA Hall of Famer and former 76ers standout, claimed that the fans speak louder than words and that Simmons' time in Philly is finished now. Now on to other Ben Simmons news. Although the fresh words from his teammates portray a more positive picture, Simmons has been busy off the court. He's selling his $6.7 million New Jersey property and his 3,000-square-foot Ritz-Carlton condominium for $4.3 million AUD. According to listing images, Simmons also has a collection of basketball memorabilia on display, including his jerseys and framed magazine covers of himself on display in his New Jersey home. While Simmons appears to be selling most of his East Coast properties, he just made a large West Coast purchase. He paid $17.5 million for a seven-bedroom property in the Kardashian favorite Hidden Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles during the summer. So perhaps this is a clue that he'll be spending more time in the Golden State. The Australian point guard follows a slew of NBA players who have gone to Hidden Hills, including Paul George, Tyson Chandler, and Dwayne Wade, who paid $17.9 million for a 17,000 square foot estate in the gated neighborhood north of Los Angeles last year. With a striking facade of charcoal-colored brick, glass, and rustic wood, Simmons' home is 12,000 square feet and joins the trend of all black farmhouses. The 1.5-acre grounds, which are tucked away at the end of a cul-de-sac, have two motor courts and a backyard with a swimming pool, jacuzzi, wood deck, patio, and cabana, as well as a similarly designed guest house with its own pool. Wow, it is absolutely stunning. Ben Simmons, 76ers season stats and news. Many people anticipate the number one overall selection to be a scorer first and foremost, but at his heart, Simmons is most effective when he is assisting others. He's more than simply a casual passer, as he has been one of NBA's most willing passers in each of the last four seasons. He topped the league in passing yards as a rookie in 2017-18, 74.1, and subsequently finished second in both 2018-19, 66.5, and 2019-20, 66.5, 70.6. In fact, last season was the first time in his professional career that he didn't top the Eastern Conference in passes per game. When he's in a full-court offense, his passes have been the most successful, according to Synergy. Simmons had the second-best transition assist rate in the NBA this past season, with 2.7 assists per game. According to our data, he has tallied 743 assists playing on the open floor since his first active season in 2017. Only Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, James Harden, and Kyle Lowry have more than 500 transition assists during this time period. Meanwhile, despite his well-documented shooting deficiencies, Simmons is still a player who can assist his team in making the outside shot. According to PBP stats, Simmons has 996 assists to three pointers since entering the league. This is the second best score among all players during this time period. Over the previous four seasons, only Westbrook and Chris Paul have assisted on at least 900 three-pointers. Furthermore, no one has assisted on more non-corner three-pointers. Simmons has assisted on a league best 4.07 above the arc three-pointers per 100 possessions since going pro, according to PVP stats. On the defensive end of the court, Simmons is a force to be reckoned with since 2017-18, he is second only to Paul George in terms of passes stolen, 299. In 2019-20, Simmons led the league in overall steals, 2.1 per game, and equaled Chris Paul for the most defensive loose balls recovered, 59. In addition, his block percentage has never fallen below the 90th percentile. Simmons is also adept at getting his hands on the ball while attempting a non-shot. In both 2019-20, 3.9, and 2020-21, 3.9, he recorded the third most deflections per game, 3.5. That makes him in the company of Marcus Smart and Jimmy Butler, among others. Simmons does not score at the same level as any of the aforementioned players, which reduces his prospects of being an all-time great. However, basketball is a game that needs far more than just one talent, and his tertiary abilities are among the best in the game. Thanks for watching.